Welcome back to night two of Shoot Straight Live from the Marriott Marina Hotel at SBIE. We are back for a second night. First day of the show under our belts, guys. I feel like a million bucks. We just had a great dinner at Roy's. Can't, not a sponsor again. I keep name dropping all these things. Delicious. None of them are paying us yet, nope. but they will. Not yet. They will. Not yet. I'm Tom. This is Tim. This is Ron. We are here today. The theme of today's episode is perseverance. Look, the best laid plans. They don't always go as planned. Me, personally, for this podcast, I thought three men would behave themselves. We wouldn't get in any trouble. We've had to re-record this thing five times over two nights because we can't stop getting yelled at by security. And as far as I know, none of us are doing anything wrong on purpose. None of us are purposely menacing anyone. I mean, you know, Ron's a little left of center there with his uh, behavior. But listen, the point is, perseverance is important. We're back in. We're recording this podcast. And by the way, a little perseverance getting here. And the air travel. Rob, tell them about your experience. Oh, jeez. You know, TSA is for ultra-long lines. Yes. Never seen Rochester the way it is. Yeah. Snaking around. Got to be 400 people in line. You, you walk up to the to the airport and you're saying, where am I? Am I in Tampa? Am I in Orlando? No, you're in Rochester, New York. It's so long. One and a half hours to get through TSA. Nobody expected that. But you know what? We didn't give up. We didn't give up. We got here. I had a weather weather cancellation. I didn't give up. I got here. Tim, just in general, life for you, you know? So my flight wasn't that bad. No. However, my plane was supposed to be in on a Sunday, yeah. got in on Monday. But again, to Ron's point, you get there on Sunday. Yeah. So that way you have Monday to uh, react to it. Yeah. Uh, I had a tight connection, but outside that... I, don't, I, I would say we, we both had great connection karma on that. I was in Actually, Denver. We saw, we saw each other right in First the morning. First of all, beautiful omen. Now, wait a minute. Wait Four, a minute. Hang on. Tight connection. Yeah. Tim had two minutes. He looked like O.J. Simpson. He was going through Chicago like no tomorrow. It was hurtling. It was over going over. Oh, over. like in the Avis commercials. Oh, I he, thought you were talking about the white Fort oh, Bronco no. chase <laughs> up to 405. I was like, geez, Ron. <laughs> this is a true crime podcast and he made now. It, and he made it. All right. They well, were Ron, thank you for sharing that because I was just about to say, well, Tim had a two-minute connection. I had a negative 10-minute connection, but luckily my terminal was right next to where my plane oh. landed in Denver. I got it, but Tim, you're right. Great omen. First thing in the morning, I'm at Southwest. I feel a tap on my shoulder. There's traveling Timmy. He thinks he's flying Southwest. He's not. He's flying United. They got. I got to usher him over there. It's 4:30 in the morning. No yep. one's had any coffee yet. Not even the workers. But we got here. Well, we got here. We got here. We, got here. we persevered and got. By golly, my gosh, by golly. Good golly. <laughs> Good golly. We got here, and that led us to today's first day at the show, and it was electric, folks. The swag was swaggy. The pens were penny. The t- tote bags were toady. People were excited. People were excited, and they were excited to see OptiPro at oh, booth 628. So. Now, we said yesterday, 628, if you believe in that sort of thing, an angel number. Prosperity. Delivering on your dreams. And I believe some people planted the seeds of their dreams coming true via OptiPro tonight. Tim, what were you able to communicate to people today? Well, honestly, today was a lot of, like you were saying, people traveling in. It's a yep. day one. So people are talking about their travels. Some were coming in today. Some were coming in the day before. But today was a lot of, hey, nice to see you. It's been a while. It's a lot of checking in. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So um, I would say very typical of yeah. day one. You know, day two always is, you know, getting into the, the details, getting into what they're trying to do. Sure. Um, because most people don't come for one day. They That's come right. for two days. So. It's a it marathon, was, not a sprint. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, you got to see a little bit of both. Um, yeah. But overall, I was encouraged. Yeah. It was encouraging. Now, Ron, I noticed that when it comes to our booth, you're very welcoming. You kind of stand towards the front. What is your advice to anyone who might feel nervous approaching a booth, you know, with a business that they're unsure of? How do you make people feel welcome, and how do you advise people who maybe don't know how to break the ice with a new company? Not a problem. It's just like the old Italian heritage. Manja, manja, come on in. Have a little... Something to eat, sit mm. down, let's do it together, brother, breaking bread. Yeah. You know, it's like NASA. I mean, they were coming in our booth today. It was yeah. the most awesome experience, you know. We felt like to, we might have a chance to launch into orbit. We do. We might so be on the moon. Well, I, I don't think know if they are. have weight limits on the ships. You think but. Elon Musk will have us? Well, we'll I don't to the think moon. that he's ever actually gotten to space. Oh, Dogecoin? Yeah. I'm <laughs> we're saying, getting into crypto, too. Yep. Not a problem. I no. mean, you know, you're yeah. talking to the moon, we're beyond. We're well, Mars, that, we're Pluto. We're in a galaxy that nobody's ever heard of. I think that is one thing OptiPro does well, not to toot our own horn, toot toot, 
is that we create a welcoming environment. We had some tiki music playing. We, did. we got the shirts. The shirts very highly complimented. But folks, the day, like we said, the 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 Tommy, Tommy's the man. That's got right. The My sister Teresa sewed these patches. Shout out Teresa. But uh, I'm a sergeant. We got a couple more days of this thing left. We so do. what I want to say is the door is still open. Manja, manja, come on in. Is Ron's Ronja, oh, Ronja, yeah. come on in. You know, and we've got Aloha bars. You talk to the right person at this table, you might end up with a little packet of Jif peanut butter. You know, Tim's no. got about a hundred thousand of those stowed away. Again, Tommy, you just broke one of our secrets. But you oh. know, with these events, yeah, uh, little Jif peanut butter yeah. cups, right? I'm spilling all the tea. As the my kids daughters say. love them. They love them, so I always take them. Yeah, they are great for a little pep in your day, but. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And so, so what's the secret after day one where you break the ice? How do you really lock in in day two? Well, you're recharging. What we're doing right now, we're recharging. We're fueling up. We're getting some energy in us. We're going to go at it. Day two is kind of like top of the mountain. It's a pinnacle. Yeah. You're going to go after the pole. You're going to bring it to the top of the mountain. You're going to plant that flag, OptiPro flag, right on top of the mountain and say, come on, baby. Come OptiPro on. to the moon, baby. You got it. Come up here with us. We're there. Boys, I'll drink to that. Cheers. I Cheers. And we'll see you on uh, episode three All right. of Straight Shooting, Shooting Straight, whichever one I name it on the on the graphic tomorrow. Uh, this is Tim. This is Ron. I'm Tommy. We want to thank our producer, Kelsey, who did an excellent job pushing play, and will soon push stop for us. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Psych, we're not done. We're back <laughs> for episode 2.5 of Straight Shooting or Shooting Straight. Can't ever remember. Live at SBIE here at the beautiful Marriott Marina Hotel in downtown San Diego, just west of the gas lamp district. I don't know. I don't know my geography. We've got a special guest. We were all we were packed up. I was going to check out and fly back to Rochester tonight, but a guest joined us. What's your name, sir? Uh, Eric Stover. Eric Stover, and what yeah. do you do? So I'm the uh, president for Trioptics North America. Ah, Trioptics uh, North America. But I'm a longtime fan of optics, so I've been optics for about 28 years. So right. I, I used to purchase. Uh, Optro equipment, so I started in polishing, grinding. You hear that? An old customer. So, uh, yeah, but I Perhaps love optics. a new lead. Ah, well, we're so glad to have you. Thanks for joining us on uh, Straight Shooting. We're talking today about uh, perseverance. Perseverance has been the theme. Uh, we had uh, all sorts of travel issues getting here with weather and uh, wayward TSA lines. Do you find the traveling... To, to and from shows to be a stressful thing, or do you just enjoy getting out of Dodge? You know, I just enjoy... The, the fun of traveling and not knowing what's going to happen. I think you said perseverance. Yes. Um, that's the key to success, right? So Absolutely. anyone can be, you know, a genius or maybe not so smart, but right. oh, yeah. continuing to push through is what's going to make you win at the end of the day. All right. So uh, yeah, I actually got to go through the, the, the troubles of travel. All right. Absolutely. Now, what, what? How was your first day at the show, or was this your first day? This was the first day at the show. Yeah, okay. it was set up the other day. All right. um, no, it was awesome. Uh, we had a ton of great customer visits. Um, it's really, you know, even regardless of new customers that you get to meet, it's the only time you really get to meet. You, you know, we have meetings set up with 20 to 30 of our customers that would take us months to try to set up. Absolutely. Business. So we get to really connect with everybody, talk about new products, learn about their new applications. I love that. So it's great. And you get to meet with the rest of the community, learn what you guys are coming out with, learn what other. Yeah. It's nice being on the West Coast, you know, being from the East Coast. It's nice to see people that you don't get to see every day. Exactly. Now. Where, where are you? Do you guys have a booth at the show? We do. Where is your booth? It's uh, somewhere in San Diego. Somewhere in San Diego. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 641. I think it's 641, right, 641 right down the street. So I have other people that handle that. Right, right down the street from 628, where yeah. the old OptiPro booth is. So if you're in the 600 section, you come see all of us. Exactly. We That's like the winner row. We, we have a, a yeah. wise man here in Ron. I call him Obi-Ron Kenobi. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we like to let Ron extol some wisdom. But uh, Eric, do you have any wisdom you can give us? Any words of wisdom for people attending? shows <sighs> no just um, try to stop by talk to people because that's, that's how you learn things right that's and right people you don't know um, it's amazing when you can find out from just a quick conversation yeah so the nice thing is is too like Ron always says it's nice to talk it's great to listen yeah there's a lot of good things that people exactly, say yeah. you know we all listen we hear stories we hear whatever kind of makes it what it is right yeah. So I'll drink to that, boys. Hey, Eric, right. thanks so much for joining Cheers. us. All right, thank Cheers. You. Cheers. All right, so as we said, the words of wisdom are talking is important. It's nice to talk. Listening is even more important. Guys, exactly. That's right. Thank you so much, everybody, for Tim, Eric, Ron. I've been Tommy. We really appreciate it. Ron, send us off with some words of wisdom. What would you say? There you go. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, San Diego. <laughs>